Six tonight, fear drove a Howard County teen to the edge after her middle school allegedly ignores claims she was bullied. A school district spokesperson says what happened to Jalen Strange was a minor dispute between her and a classmate. But Jeff Hager spoke with her mom today who tells a very different story. The saga of Jalen Strange began when she allowed a friend to borrow a necklace. But the fallout from the girl's failure to return it carried over to Elk Ridge Landing Middle School where her mother says life for Jalen became a living hell. The original accuser decided to take four to five other female students who were prior friends of Jalen Strange and start this horrific escalation of um, bullying, cornering her in the restroom. It's alleged the young adversary had turned Jalen's friends against her and had threatened her after the 13-year-old had reported the harassment to the school's guidance counselor. She even began trying to eat her lunch in the ladies' room so she wouldn't have to confront the girls in the lunchroom. Lynn Strange claims top school administrators dismissed the incident as a minor dispute. The school system wants to maintain this impeccable reputation for Howard County Public Schools that incidents such as these do not occur in their school and they don't want to lose this prestigious reputation. And I believe that it was a direct um, attempt by the school to evade this matter. Jalen's suffering reached the boiling point last week when the teen called her mother just before she boarded a bus to school and told her she wanted to take her own life. Contact the school immediately and said, you have a child in crisis ready to commit suicide. It was then later confirmed by Ms. Tina Flynn, the guidance counselor, that she was in a critical point. Lynn Strange has since sought out counseling for her daughter. But on behalf of Jalen and other kids like her, she wants schools to take bullying seriously. In Howard County, Jeff Hager, ABC2 News. Well, we talked with a spokesperson for the district, Patty Kaplan, and she says that school administrators met with the parents of the two girls involved, tried to defuse the situation. And she adds the schools take bullying very seriously, but cannot always intervene in every squabble that occurs on a daily basis in every school. So we've been working to show you the red flags to look out for, and to figure out if your child is being bullied. Things like depression, becoming withdrawn. And tonight we want to share with you some of the ways to address your child if you find out that they are a, they, they are confronting a bully. Experts say you should be an example. A good question to ask yourself, are, are there signs of bullying in your own home? That may encourage this type of behavior. Also, when you see acts of aggression, step in and explain why it's wrong. Show that bullying is unacceptable and establish appropriate consequences for bad behavior. Praise good acts while punishing the bad ones. And if it's necessary, don't be afraid to ask for help from a counselor or even your pediatrician.